I hereby sentence Papa Jake and Logan 24 hours in Boxford Prison! You are both gonna have to do something that all new recruits have to do. No food, 24 hours, no water! Yes sir, yes sir! Freeze! Prisoners escaping? Not on my watch! Coming for you, Papa Jay! I do not like what I see here. Illegal wood bracing, zombie fences? No, 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 no. And running electricity? This is not up to code at all. Running water? No, 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 no. This is an illegal building, not sanctioned by the government whatsoever. Open up, government inspector. Hello? This is an illegal fort, not sanctioned by the government. You are not allowed to have wood paneling, fencing, running water, electricity. I'm gonna have to write you boys up on massive tickets, you know that? You're gonna be getting a huge fine. City inspector? Dude, come on, this is our billionaire fort! I don't care one biscuit. Okay, I've heard enough of this. Logan, we need a snowball up here ASAP! It's gonna be a thousand, no, you know what? Ten thousand, ah! Snowball? Oh, you know what, now I'm getting the police involved. You just threw a snowball at a government inspector. Jake, who was that? Just some stupid city inspector saying we can't have a billionaire snow fort. And I was gonna call the cops on us because I threw a snowball at him. What? Jake, what's Police. that? Open up! Logan, that might have actually been a real city inspector. Now there's police at our front! Quickly! The escape hatch! Going up the escape hatch! Not so fast. You're under arrest. I hereby sentence Papa Jake and Logan for an illegal fort. 24 hours in Boxford Prison! Jake, why would you throw a snowball at that guy? Well, Logan, he was trying to get into our ultimate snow fort. Of course we have to defend it! Telling us that we can't have a snow fort out there, like who is he? I don't know, obviously someone important, Jake. Yeah, we learned that now, Logan, that we're in prison. But that's okay, you know, we've been to prison many times. This is just 24 hours in prison, Logan. Think of it as a little mini challenge, it's easy. You follow my lead, you're gonna get out of here in no time. Oh, hey there, boys, welcome to Boxford Prison. I'm gonna need to collect all your personal belongings. Yeah, yeah, I've done this too many times. Oh, yeah, there's more stuff. I got big pockets. Uh, flashlight. Uh, Mr. Pooh. All I have is a pen. Hey, don't we get a free phone call? Oh yes, my bad. One phone call between the both. Who should we call? Jake, what are you doing? Oh uh, yeah, I'll get an extra large pizza with pepperoni and bacon. Jake, what are you doing? I'm really hungry. Yeah, it's gonna be the prison. You can't Come order on. pizza to a prison? There goes your phone call, boys. I'm gonna need to get some fingerprints over here now. All right, Papa Jake, you first. I'm gonna need your thumb, index finger, and pinky right here in the three squares. Jake, look what you did. Okay, I mean, dude, it's only 24 hours. We're gonna be out of here in a second. Um, pinky, there. Happy? Perfect. Logan, you're up next. There we go, you have my fingerprint. Now I'm just gonna need to take your photos and get you in your uniform. <laughs> You look at what we got here. Some new faces. Well, welcome to Boxford Prison. Name's Shrimpy Giblet. They call me Shrimpy Giblet because I used to be a pirate. Sailed the seven seas, stealing shrimp from all sorts of shrimp boats. I didn't care how big the shrimp was, how small the shrimp was. I just loved shrimp. Ah, the smell of it, the taste of it. I'd steal shrimp from anyone, even a baby. And of course I was caught and put here for 40 years. What brings you two in here? We built a fort that was never registered. Listen here! Whoa, 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 calm down, Gumpy Gum! You like shrimp, don't you? Uh, yes, yes, I like shrimp. Alright, then you're cool with me. But the other guys around here, they're not gonna want to hear your story of building a fort or whatever. Uh, yeah, for the record, I, I love shrimp too. I, all of them. I eat shrimp daily. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. I'll show you around. Over here are the cells. It's where you sleep at night. They don't give us very much in the ways of bedding or food. This is the courtyard, of course, where most of us come. We've got one basketball court and 17 guys to share it. If you like playing basketball, it's gonna be very hard because we started a... a uh, it's okay, we, we get the point. Okay, anyway, the warden's office. You don't wanna go in there, you don't wanna go near there. Warden's a bad man. 
If they catch you out in the courtyard past dark, that's gonna be instant trouble. See you boys later. All right, well, thanks for showing us around, Gumpy Shrimp. That guy was kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, it is Box Fort Prison. Everyone here is a little bit weird, but I mean, it's not that bad. Logan, all we gotta do now is just survive here for 24 hours. It's like any survival challenge. It's kind of like a vacation. I mean, we got beds, we got food, we got working out area. Look at this place. So what are we gonna do right now, Jake? I don't know. I actually don't know. <laughs> okay, not too bad here. Definitely had worse. It looks like this is my prison cell for the next 24 hours. Good news is at least we're not here for more than that because, uh, well, there's no TV or bathroom or really anything. I guess this is my bed and this is my blanket. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, it's not exactly the best Western, but at least it's not as bad as that time I got my tongue stuck to an icicle. It's the world's biggest icicle. I think we can do this. I mean, we've done a lot of challenges. We've survived 24 hours in almost any circumstance. And if you guys think that we're going to be able to absolutely dominate this prison challenge, smack that like button down below. I think we're going to crush this. These cells suck. They're not supposed to be luxury hotel, okay? At least we're not in solitary confinement. Who's in the cell next to you? Wow, wow, wow. What can we have here? Some new recruits. Name's Slim Shardy. I live in the cell over here. I'm in here for 80 years. Robbery. Sort of my thing. I'm able to get into small places and steal things faster than anyone's ever seen. Oh goodness, guy's the shortest guy I've ever seen in my life. Now you might not know this, but this prison's actually mine. I'm the top dog here, the alpha. I'm the biggest, the baddest. You don't mess with me. I'll take you both down. No, no need to get harsh on us. No, no, no. We're, we're just uh, we're just here for 24 hours. You know, we're just trying to keep the peace. We don't wanna we don't wanna upset anyone. Now, seeing as how you two are new. You are both gonna have to do something that all new recruits have to do. Everyone that gets in here has to try and steal the key from the warden. Now that doesn't sound like a good idea. I mean, the other guy said that the warden was the meanest dude around here. And you're gonna do it, because I run this prison. And if you get in my way, you're gonna get hurt. And I'll get my friend, Tiny Tim, I call him that because he's really short, to come and beat you up. Because of how short... In, in comparison to you, he, he's shorter than- Are you making fun of my height? Cause I will come over there. Oh no, the warden's coming. Uh -oh. Hey, what are you guys doing in my courtyard? Uh, uh nothing. Jake, I don't like this nothing, guy. Nothing, sir. Uh, we were it's just- It's dinner time! Get in yourselves! Okay, yeah, we'll- Jake, this guy sounds scary. You were in my courtyard during dinner time! When it's dinner time, you're in yourself! I feed you! I don't know, it's dinner time! I don't need I'm, these I'm, okay. I'm just gonna go in my cell. You're in my courtyard! One, two, I said Sorry. twenty, three, four. What are you laughing at? I'm not get laughing. Yourself. Oh my, Jake, this guy's really get scary. Now get in your cell, you're in my courtyard yes, dinner sir, yes, sir. This just went from being chill to not chill at all. Jake, this guy's insane. He's really crazy. I mean, the good news is at least it's dinner time. I'm kind of hungry. I didn't get my pizza. Jake, if you didn't throw a snowball at that guy, we wouldn't be here. We can't play the how we got here game, okay? We're here now, all right? Arguably, it's both of our faults. You're the one that handed me the snowball. Jake, you told Slim Shorty we're gonna steal the key from that guy's pocket. I mean, specifically, I didn't say I was gonna steal the key. It could be me or you. Jake, I'm not going near that guy. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we'll get the key at nighttime. Just play it safe for now. We'll get out of here. It's just 24 hours. We got this. Prisoner 1321, what are you doing sleeping? Lovely, sir. Dinner time. Uh, uh, yes, dinner time, sir. Take your dinner. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, uh, uh, permission to speak, sir. Why are you eating your dinner? I don't know if this is dinner, sir, or if this is dog food, sir. I'm very confused, sir. Eat your dinner. Okay, yes, sir. Yes. I don't like it, sir. It doesn't taste like real dinner, sir. Do as the man says. Look, but this thing tastes awful. This food isn't even real. Uh oh. What are you doing talking about my food like that? Nothing, sir. This food is amazing, sir. You're not happy with this food? I, I'm very happy with that food. Ah, I'm very happy with the food. I'll eat all the food he wants, sir. No more food for you then if you don't like it. Get on the weight rod. Uh, okay. You too, prisoner 321. Guys, I really don't like this prison at all. 10 cents of bench press at 55 pounds. 
Give me time! I can't get any! Food's actually not that bad. This, on the other hand, is just gross. I can't go anymore, sir! You will find my food funny? No, sir, your food is amazing, sir! Five-star restaurant quality, sir! That's what I thought! Yes, sir! Oh, sir! I'm tipping over, sir, like the Titanic! You two, get back to yourselves! Uh, all right, okay, okay. This guy's making this challenge a lot harder than I thought it would be. I thought we'd just be chilling around playing basketball, shooting some hoops, eating some prison food. Dude, he's embarrassing me out there. It's more embarrassing than the time I lost the World Golf Championships. Really, really not much skill needed here. I mean, you could get anyone to put that in. You can't miss that shot. Jake, we gotta go get that Kina. Have you seen the warden? I realize that you got to sit on the bench and eat, but he is a mean, mean man. I would rather take on Slim Shorty or whatever his name is than deal with the warden. Jake, we need to go get that key for Slim Shorty. Like he said, he has friends, like Tiny Tim. And Tiny Tim probably has a friend named Mini Jim, Jake. I'd like to get the key. Okay, all right, all right, fine, we'll get the key. I've been thinking of a little bit of a plan, okay? Look, they got the spotlight out there right now. We can make our way over to the warden's office without getting caught by the spotlight. I can have you distract the warden by getting him outside. Then, once he's outside, I'll steal the key from him without anyone knowing, and then we make it back to our cells. First things first, you need to look for a week. Logan, they left the cells open. What? They literally, they, they, they're unlocked. The cells are unlocked. Looks like we got a spotlight there. There's a sniper in the tower. All right, Jake, how are we doing this? It's simple, Logan. It's called the tactical roll. Position. Operation Steal the Key is a go. What's going on out here? Sir, I was just going you to the hell? You can't get out of the box, sir! Gosh, this guy's so scary. You're going into solitary confinement and you just extended you and your friends. Stay here another two weeks. Two weeks? Two weeks. What happened? It's okay, okay? No food, 24 hours, no water. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And you've extended your sentence. Yes, sir. What are you looking at? Oh, uh, your ugly face, sir. Your face is ugly. My ugly face. Ah, we just got another day in cold cell day for five minutes. Okay, sir. All right, you're coming with me. Yes, sir. Guys, we got the keys. Jake. Jake. Alright guys, well, it looks like I've got myself in solitary confinement. Not sure what Logan's up to, but it also appears like we've added another 48 hours to this challenge. Honestly, I don't know about you, but I think I've had about enough of this prison. I've been in here for about six hours, and I gotta say, I don't recommend it. It's not very fun. I got this wall. And I got this wall, and that's about it. I think it's time that we break out of this prison and get out of here once and for all. After that warden extended our stay, I have officially decided that I am no longer doing this prison challenge. The only problem now is it's turned from a prison challenge into a prison escape challenge. Luckily though, Logan was able to secure the key from the warden, so if I can break out of solitary, I should be able to meet up with him and we might be able to get out of the prison. First things first though, uh, I gotta get these chains off of me. Uh, good thing for us, Papa Jake always carries. A handy dandy lock picking kit. I might have been able to take my tape rolls. I might have been able to take my fuzzy peaches. They cannot take my lock picking kit. All right, just gonna insert this in here. Ah, there we go. Perfect, got it. Okay, time to get us out of this prison. Ah. Okay, so much for solitary confinement. Leg cramp, leg cramp. Ow, oh, I was in there too long. Oh. Uh. oh, I do not recommend solitary confinement. That is, that is not fun. <sighs> All right, time to find Logan. <sighs> Logan, Logan, wake up, what are you doing? Jake, they let you out of solitary confinement? Why do you have a smile on your face? I was in solitary confinement, I thought you'd be trying to break me out. I had to break myself out of there. Prison beds were kind of comfortable. Comfortable, Logan, you're sleeping on cement, using paper towel as a bedroll. Dude, we gotta break out of here. Jake, you wanna break out of here? The warden's crazy. No, I know, but you got the key, all right? 
Look, he's extended our stay in here, all right? I was down for 24 hours, but any longer than that, and I start to get extremely bored, and I don't want to be in here for more than 24 hours. I did manage to get the warden's key. All right, so I don't know exactly how we're going to use this thing, but I think if we can get inside his office, I'm sure we can find some tools or something to break us out of here. Oh, wow, wow, wow. If it ain't the two stooges. Word around the prison yard is you were able to steal the key from the warden. And as you know, seeing as how Slim Shorty runs this prison, I'll be taking that key from you now. But I have to hand it to you, you were the first prisoners who were able to snatch a key from the warden. Whoa, 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 no, 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 Shorty. Look, we stole that key fair and square, all right? We're breaking out of this prison. I don't know if I made myself clear. You're talking to Slim Shorty here. I run this prison. I've got my boys to back me up. I got little Jim, Minnie, Mike. You don't want all of them coming after you, do you? Shorty, we're not giving you the key, okay? We're breaking out of here, all right? I don't care if you have Tiny Tim, little Jim. I don't know who your friends are, but we are breaking out of this prison and we're not handing you over the key. Jake, I mean, we could all just break out together. I'm breaking out with Shorty, okay? I don't like this guy. All right, playing hardball. I get it, I get it, all right. How about this then? I challenge Logan to a game of basketball in the courtyard. Classic prison basketball. You win, you keep the key. But if I win, which I will, because I'm Slim Shorty, I get the key. Logan is six feet tall, Shorty. That would just be unfair. Uh, but you know what? All right, fair. A deal's a deal, Shorty. If you beat Logan in a one-on-one -on -one basketball match, you can have the key. But if we beat you, we're keeping the key and we're escaping out of this prison without you. Prison basketball. Prepare to get dominated. Check. Here we go, Slim Shorty. Oh, I'm playing basketball before you were even born. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> alright, alright, that was an easy one, but it's first to three. My turn's up. Woo! That's my war cry. Let's go. Kind of a weird war cry. Check me. Maybe just basketball's not your sport. You know what, fine, keep the key. I didn't want it anyway. You guys break out of here. See how far you make it. Jake, you're sleeping? What? Jake, I just won the basketball game and you're sleeping? Oh, you did? Well, yeah, Logan, I didn't get a lot of sleep in solitary confinement, so any nap I can get is very important. You know, it's an extremely important part of your day to get a good- Jake, we got the keys. We gotta get out of here. Fine, fine, all right. Look, those are the keys to the warden's office, okay? Inside there, we should be able to find some stuff to help us break out of here, but we gotta go low key. All right, come on, follow me. All right, come on, here's the warden's office. Uh, it works. Jake, what if he's in there? Yeah, it's lunchtime, we're in the yard. I doubt he's in here, he's probably getting lunch. But we gotta be quick. Uh, lights, get the lights. I mean, for a guy that's so grandiose as the warden, I think he'd have a better office. Wait, here. Perfect, survival gear. We're gonna need this if we're breaking out. Maybe this too. That's an RPG. What are we gonna? We are gonna need that RPG. Hold over that. We got codes too. If I remember when we were driven here, we did go past the forest. So realistically, we're gonna be traveling through the forest. We're gonna need these coats, this survival gear, and here we go. Fence cutters. We use these fence cutters to break through the fence, and we'll use the survival gear to make it through the forest and back to our house. Speaking of that RPG though, we've got a watchtower guarding this entire place. I said we take that thing out first, and then make our way to the fence. All right, here we go, Jake! Hey! Oh, dude, you destroyed the tower! Jake, we gotta get out of here fast. All right, here, grab the bag, grab all the supplies. Come on, we gotta go. Looks like we set off the alarm. Let's go, let's go. Should short circuit it. Ah. There we go. We're good. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Into the forest quickly. Wait, guys. Wait for me. Wait for Slim Shorty. I want to escape too. Prisoners escaping? Not on my watch. I'm 
coming for you, Papa Jake. Oh, they're gonna be coming after us, guys. We need to make our way home as fast as possible. If we can link up with the river, we should be able to find our way out of here. Let's see what's in this backpack. Okay, looks like we have a camera. Not bad. Let's see. A lighter. Candle. Some deodorants. Wait, ah, flashlight. Perfect. We're gonna make it out of here, all right, guys? We're gonna we're gonna do this, okay? We just need to make it all the way through. Uh, Jake? What? This camera has night vision on it. Well, you should have told me that a lot earlier because that's gonna make it a lot easier to get out of here. Oh, dude, I can see you. Let's see? Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. Okay, at least we got night vision. That's gonna make it a little bit easier to get out of here. Oh, no, they're coming this way. Hey, boys, over here. Oh, no. Let's go, let's go. Come on, quickly, run. Oh, Jake, I think they're getting closer. Get the right over there. Curse him, curse him. Like they're heading up that hill. We were like this close, Logan, to going back and eating prison food. Which arguably, right now, wouldn't be that bad. My hands are freezing. Yeah, you know what, as gross as it is, I could use a little bed on the cement. I could have some prison food. And I honestly, I miss Shorty a little bit. Maybe we're in over our heads trying to get out of here. I've never heard you say that before, Jake. I can't even see. All we have is the night vision camera. Look. We got a candle. Jake, what's a candle gonna do for us right now? It's like the pioneers, Logan, all right? They used to use these babies to get through the woods for miles. And then, as you can see, we have what I call a candle. It'll be able to get us through these woods no problem. Wow, right, you know, that is quite an amazing idea. I know, right? And to think no one had thought of using a candle to get through the- Cornelius, is that you? I can't see. Oh, I can't see. Get a little bit of a flame here. And there you go. It's like your own personal little flashlight. Look, turn off the night vision. The night vision is off. See, Logan, no batteries, no nothing to worry about, just some good old-fashioned pioneer engineering. Uh, yeah, Jake, I think we're just gonna stick with the night vision. All right, fine. There's gotta be something else in here that can help us. Oh, Logan, body spray, buddy. You know what this means? We can cover our scent. They might be using dogs to track us down. Jake, if anything, this makes our scent more attractive. No, 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 Logan. You gotta cover your scent. It's the first thing in escape. Haven't you seen any prison escape movie? Come on. Get it on. This is like bug spray. Jake. Jake, that's gonna attract people. Oh, it's gonna work. Come on. Is that Axe body spray? Jake, I can literally smell you from all the way back here. Okay. Fine, back by a bad idea. We've been walking for hours, Logan, and we have no food. All we have is a candle. I'm about to eat the candle, Logan. I am literally going to eat this candle. Oh, don't eat the candle, Jake. Can I eat the candle? No, don't eat the candle. Jake, don't eat the candle. Jake, I'm gonna eat the candle. Don't eat the candle. No eating the candle. No. Do not eat the candle. Jake, we need to keep moving that way. Wait a sec, Jake. Do you hear music? Yeah. Wait, there's some lights over there. They might be able to help us out. Come on. Uh, what is that guy doing? Oh, hey, what's up, bros? How's it going? Uh. I was just wacko, wacko, whacking in the woods, y'all. What are you doing? Oh, you like my music, yeah? This is some of my harder beats. Get down to this stuff all the time. So what brings you two around? We heard your music and we came over here. We were actually, we we're trying to get out of the forest. We sort of escaped from the prison, the box fort prison. 
Oh no way! Me too! Prisoner 457! Escaped 15 years ago, but I've been in the woods ever since. Never found my way out. Now the woods are my home. And my home is the woods, you dig? <laughs> right, well that's reassuring. Uh, Look, I, I, I don't really know who you are, what you are, what you're doing, but it, do you have any idea on where the river might be? We can figure out our way out of here. In fact, if you know, we can get you out of here too. You ever think sometimes like the lights are really just reflections of ourselves? M Mr. Lightman, do you have anything we could use to help us? I mean, I do have this compass, bro, here. You can use this. Uh, this isn't a compass. Th this is a pocket watch. Oh, that explains so much, bro. I was following that thing around. It was leading me all over the place from 12 to six. <laughs> That's rad. Great, now we have a pocket watch and no way out of this place, Logan. We need to find the river. We need to get out of here. We need food. We need clothes. At this point, I just want to go back to the stupid prison. Did you hear that? Jake, was that the water? I think it's doing water. That's the river. It's this way, come on, quickly. Okay, well, bye, bros. See you later, then. Look, come on, look, the river. Oh, we made it, buddy, we made it. All right, now all we have to do is follow the river downstream, and that leads us right back to our house. Guys, we did it. We can get out of the woods. As long as they don't catch up with us now, I think we just escaped from prison. High five, man. All right, come on, let's get going.